Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Walk With Me. My name is Serena. My autoimmune disease is linear IgA slash IgG bolus dermatosis. Last week I mentioned about the treatment and it started beginning of March. It seems the prednisone and the dapsone work the magic together. So 80% of the blister were gone. Um, the itchiness and the burning sensation were almost gone as well. Then the week after, um, I was cut, decreased five milligram of the prednisone by each week. So, uh, but I was closely monitored by my specialist of my blood work. So I have blood work each week. By mid of March, um, that zone was increased to 100 milligram with 20 milligram of prednisone. So going into April, um, prednisone was completely cut out and that zone was the only um, medications that I was on. And at that point, it was increased to 150 milligrams. The condition was somewhat controlled, um, but I was far from remission. So with the side effect of prednisone, I still getting that. So with the dizziness, blur vision, rapid heartbeat, um, I was just sitting and sometimes my heart would just beat really fast. And I also have the shortness of breath, um, mood change, brain fog, numbness and tingling in my arms, especially on my on my right arm, dry mouth, um, swollen hands and feet and face. Um, that was very swollen and increased hunger. Um, so I was gaining weight. And that time uh, I was at 108 pounds. So um, going back to beginning before I went on the treatment, I was at 88 pounds. So I gained 20 pounds. Um, now combine the dark zone side effects. Um, I have the nauseous, the blur vision as well. Um, with just a dab zone for eight weeks, um, there was no sign of getting better. And uh, my dermatologist decided to introduce doxycycline of 500 milligram with 100 milligram of dab zone for four weeks. So doxycycline is another um, antibiotic and it fights uh, bacteria infections. So it seems like the prednisone side effect never left. Um, even I was off from prednisone for a while now. And um, doxycycline side effects, uh, it's very similar. It's uh, fast breathing, so it's like try to catch my breath. Dizziness, muscles, and joint pain. And I was getting hives and rashes on my face. So, of course, um, I continue doing my research of my conditions and I just don't feel that there are enough information uh, for this conditions. But I was just keep searching and I found another specialist close to where I live and about three to, three to four hours ride in a different city. So I immediately asked my family doctor to refer me to him and that took about four weeks and when I got to see him, I was excited because um, that's what he said on his website. He specialized in this area. So he was he, in, on his website, he said he was specialized on bolus pemphogoin, um, not so much of linear IgA, but they're very similar condition. And so uh, when I got to see him, um, it was a disappointment because he can offer more than what I um, already know. So he he knew my specialist, the one that I have been seeing, and and he said um, my other specialist would be the best choice at this time because he cannot offer any um, any more. Uh, effective treatment other than um, that I'm already on 
and he also said he doesn't know why the website listed him uh, as a specialist for treating the risk and disease. And in Canada, when I, upon my research, um, we only have three specialists that is specialized in this area. Um, it says one of them, the, the one that I just went to, to see him, which is the, the second dermatologist I went. And then one, it says um, it's in other province um, in, in Ontario. And there's another one and who is not a uh, physician. He is a scientist. He's just doing research. So um, that was my research of the result, the result of the research. So I was disappointed and, and I just um, went home and continued my treatment with my original, my first specialist. So the treatment list just go on and because it doesn't seem to work, my specialist decides to increase that zone, to, to decrease that zone to 50 milligram and introduce um, cochicin. So it's 0.6 milligram cochicin. So uh, remember I mentioned about the, the butterfly shaped rash? Uh, it was the reaction from that zone. But at the time when I asked my specialist, it was from, I asked my dermatologist, was it from the condition itself or was it from the reaction of the medications? And she couldn't tell me um, just because she said this conditions, it's so hard to, to, to understand. So the only way to find out um, that was I need to stop taking that zone if the butterfly rash would stop. So two weeks after I stopped taking that zone and the rash stopped showing up as well. And so I concluded um, that was from the reaction of taking that zone. And going into um, September, my cortisone was raised to 1.2 milligram. And so cortisin is um, anti-gout agent and it's used to treat treating gout. Um, the side effects were very similar of those uh, previous one. So shortness of breath, dizziness, numbness, and tingling in arms and legs. And so I was on it until October. Now the cortisin is increased to 1.8 milligram. And of course, um, that didn't work either. My condition, again, it's like somewhat control. Um, going into October, my, my dermatologist um, suggesting maybe I should consider uh, taking methotrexate. And methotrexate is um, chemo agent. So she asked me if I would like to give it a try because I am going down to almost the end of the list, the treatment list now. So I told my dermatolo I told my dermatologist that I need some time to think about it. And she said, okay, so she kind of gave me a week of time. And in the end, uh, because I do need to get my condition treated and, um, and get it under control, so I decided to give it a try. So she started off with 20 milligram of methotrexate and with 1.8 milligram of cortisin. So cortisin, I was still taking them. And even though I was on a low dose of of it, of the methotrexate um, compared to a cancer patient, uh, but I was getting every single side effect that listed. Um, when I opened the box and the side effects of the instruction and the side effects that they listed, it was like pages, it was like two pages. So um, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to that. Uh, to the side effects and I did 
I did get every single um, side effect on the list and because at that point my body was weak and uh, my my immune system was really low so I was getting um, nauseous uh, I didn't feel good my hair was losing like crazy um, so I just use my uh, whenever I run my finger through my hair I have a whole bunch of hairs that came out um, I was so afraid that I stopped brush my hair uh, I was really um, I was kind of panicked uh, and I call my my dermatologist I ask her if I can stop taking that after four weeks um, going into November there's nothing um, there's no sign that I was getting better um, even though she has been increasing my dosage to 30 milligram of methotrexate at that point um, so I have very low energy and um, I can only have about six hours that I can function normal so I make sure that I used up the, those six hours um, I just everything I need to do I need to do within that six hour span and anytime that uh, anything that goes beyond um, the seven hours that I be very tired I don't feel like uh, motivated to do anything so um, she when she looking at in uh, she looking at the blood work uh, of my blood work and she she agreed to stop that because that hasn't been working and it was making me almost into the dysfunctional daily routine um, on a daily basis. Then um, end of November going into December, she suggested um, there's another agent that she would like me to try, uh, which is the uh, Im immunosuppressant agent. So it's called azithiopropine. Um, I might not say it right. So it's a 75 gram, uh, 75 milligram with 1.2 milligram with colchicine. And I was taking that until December uh, 20th. This is just right before um, Christmas. And she called me on the phone and she asked me to stop all my medication because she told me that the blood work has come back and and it, it seems like my, um, my red blood cell, my, uh, it was really low. And my immune system, everything was so suppressed that at that point on December 20th, 2019, um, my body was so weak that I can only fight bacteria and I cannot fight any virus if I ever get infected, even a cold. Uh, my body cannot fight that so uh, she told me to stop she told me to stop all my medication and she said that she's not comfortable to uh, prescribe me any medication without seeing me and she is going on a vacation she won't be back till next year uh, which is 2020 February 2020 so she asked if I get into trouble between the Christmas and all those times that she can see me that she suggests me to go into emergency and she mentioned that every emergency has a dermatologist on site and that's for emergency purpose so I was very nervous and and I asked her if she has any um, other option so she she said to me her final recommendation is to go on um, cortisol shot every, each month and I said no uh, because I know how bad they can damage the body um, so I said no to her and that's when she said, okay, we're gonna schedule you to come in again in 
when she comes back um, end of February 2020. So without any medication and my condition hasn't been uh, completely in control, under control. So I was, I was very nervous of not getting any medication, any treatment. But um, I was lucky enough that um, the information come across to me that someone posting uh, some information on uh, Instagram and he was on a celery juice treatment. Um, and he has MS and he's been doing the celery juice at the time uh, when I have a chance to kind of, kind of communicate uh, with him through a friend that he was already on celery juice for one year and he has changed his diet to plant-based. And he also was stating that he's symptoms free for a year now, ever since he's on celery juice. So he said, if I have my mind open enough, uh, have my, you know, to, if I'm open-minded, um, then I should give it a try to, to do celery juicing. And, but he also recommended to read uh, a book before I'm doing it. So make sure I do it right. So this book is called The Medical Medium and the author is by Anthony William. And he's the one that wrote this book. And this book is not new. It's been around for a while. And before I even read the book, um, I just jumped right into it. I just bought a juicer the next day. This is December 20th and I just bought the uh, the juicer next day and I went to get some celery stock and I cut it, clean it and I just juice it and, uh, and drank it. So um, that was that was end of 2019 and in order for me to see if the celery juice is really working for my condition um, I have to wait for three months to really know that if it's working or not so I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna let you know uh, if celery juice is working for my conditions now I'm drug free so i will see you guys next week and please subscribe and email me um, to walkwithserena at gmail.com thank you for watching